At the University of Pittsburgh's McGowan Institute for Regenerative Medicine, Dr. William Wagner and his colleagues have focused their research on the problems posed by cardiovascular disease. The centerpiece of our lab is dealing with cardiovascular disease and uh, approaching the disease from a, a regeneration and replacement perspective. Replacing damaged heart tissue with synthetic material after a heart attack is one of the goals of Dr. Wagner's research. So our approach is after the heart attack, within the first couple of weeks of the heart attack, to put this patch into this area that's, that's been damaged by the heart attack and to have it elastically support that tissue. And the idea is that this wall then is not subjected to the same mechanical strains. Whether the effort is to design a tissue engineered artery for use in bypass surgery or to use a liquid containing stem cells which, when injected into the heart and warmed to body temperature, becomes an elastic gel-like material to strengthen heart muscle. The engineering challenge is to create materials with functional properties similar to heart tissue. Well, if you're going to do that, how do you make, the, how do you make that tissue? How do you make those materials? And Answering that question and, and focusing on developing those materials and those tissues is, is what, we, what we do in my laboratory. One technique, which has been around for many years, is known as electrospinning, where very fine streams of fibers are deposited onto a mandrel, which is rotating and translating back and forth. What's neat about this technique is that we can also electrospray at the same time cells onto that mandrel. So cells are coming down, polymers coming in, and you're building up in real time a conduit that's loaded with the, the cells of interest. Have you tried to electrospin the polycarbonate yet? I do it. For research problem solvers in the 21st century, like Dr. Wagner, bioengineering is the place to be. I've always been interested in the creative aspects of research. Um, creative aspects uh, combined with problem solving. Uh, so I've I guess as an engineer, one always thinks about what an engineer does is comes up with creative ways to solve a problem. How do cardiovascular researchers use engineering and material science principles on the problems caused by a damaged or thinning heart wall? At the University of Pittsburgh, researchers address these problems by collaborative teamwork and using skills from many different disciplines. We're trying to take advances in molecular biology and cell biology, understanding of stem cells, material science, chemical engineering, and combine those basic understandings in a way that we create a solution to a, a real-world problem. 